Hello from Burnham Nurseries. We're really looking forward to spring here. Uh, a bit of sunshine, warmer weather, spring flowering orchids. These are all things that will cheer us all up enormously. We're currently closed to visitors during lockdown, um, but being kept busy still with our mail order as we have been for the last 12 months, which is really good news. I'm pleased to say that since Brexit in January, uh, we've not had any problems getting our pot plant uh, flowering orchids like these Phalaenopsis in from Europe. Uh, the wholesalers have done all the paperwork for us so it's just been very easy to just order and have them delivered as we did beforehand. So that's enabled us to keep our mail order really going especially um, more recently with Valentine's Day and Mother's Day. Lots of orders like this going out for gifts for people all the time. In spite of the continued problems with the cardboard box shortage, uh, which we are still battling with, um, but hopefully uh, that will resolve itself for too long. As you can see, we've just had a delivery of lots of lovely different types of orchids in flower. And uh, these are just ideal for people wanting to send gifts or add to their own collections. The Phalaenopsis are still the most popular orchids as uh, gifts or as pot plants. Um, but we do sell a lot of these as well as lots of other different hybrids in flower in our popular flowering combos, which people really like to have three or six different plants in flower. I think it cheers everybody up, gives you some colourful, uh, exotic um, orchids for your windowsill. And that's just what we all need at the moment. As well as those orchids, we have lots of species that are growing well in the nursery and we are gradually getting on with the potting, dividing and propagating to make lots of new stock to offer later in the year when they are rooted in. We also have a number of our own seedlings that have been raised in the lab that are now being potted up, ready for sale. I also wanted to show you some of the more unusual orchids we have in flower at the moment as part of our mother plant collection. And as we go into the hothouse, we find this beautiful plant of Bulbophyllum purpurearacis. It's tall, twisted flower stems coming from robust bulbs at the base and the flowers creeping up the side of these twisted flower stems resembling little beetle like flowers, only partly opening, just enough for the insects to get in and pollinate them. This is an African orchid and really enjoys being in warm conditions. We grow it high up in the roof so it gets lots of light. And this particular plant is flowering very well this spring. I love also not just the flowers, but also the speckled nature of these twisted flower stems interesting even when it's not in flower and the flowers have dropped the stem can stay on there for a while looking sculptural and unusual we've had this orchid flowering a few times uh, at the right time to take to the london orchid show in the spring so we can enjoy it here with its big robust bulbs and its sprawling sort of habit it needs a bit of space it grows well in a basket as this one is, but we've also managed to divide it up and pot some smaller plants in pots for those people who want to grow a really unusual and fascinating orchid in their collection. It's definitely one of my favourites. From our hot house, we move straight into our cool house. And in there at the moment, we find growing some really large baskets of Cilogeny cristata, fighting a little bit with the ferns in there, need a bit of weeding, but they're looking magnificent at this time of the year. It's not the straight cristata with the orange centre, this is the Lemoniana variety, has a very pale lemon lip and produces a lot of flowers, especially when it's kept really nice and cold in the winter. This house, the heater actually doesn't work. So 
it keeps a minimum of seven or eight degrees quite happily. So we don't need the heater to be mended, thankfully. Even had a little bit of scent off it, this one, which I don't normally detect on Cristata. Or it may have been a different orchid flowering in the house. A lovely close up of that lemon lip. We also have flowering a few plants of the pure white variety with no yellow at all in the flower. Very rare to have a, a purely white flower. It's beautiful, lovely time of year. Next door is our mother plant house. All the plants in here are used for propagating stock and for display. Normally they would be on show in our display house in flower for visitors to see. So it's nice to share them with you here today. Just inside the door, hanging up, are some Draculas and there's a couple in flower. There's Bella, a couple of plants of Bella in flower. Always tricky to photograph, you have to come from underneath and uh, sometimes they end up being a bit of a silhouette. But hopefully you can see the flower there. And also in flower, Polyphemus, which was awarded when the RHS Orchid Committee last came and sat at the nursery. On the other side of the mother plant house, lots more orchids, lots of Masdevalias, Oncidiums, cool growing things. And I'm sure you can spot there a lovely group of these bright pink Oncidium rosium, also known or used to be known as Cochleoda rosia. I'm sure a lot of us prefer to call it that now. But uh, Oncidium or Cochleoda, whichever you prefer, it certainly is a rosy flower and a beautiful little miniature. And when we get the chance and they grow a bit into little clumps, we do manage to divide them up and make plants for sale. But like all these things, it can be quite slow. Further down the bench, I found this gorgeous little Sologeny taranensis flowering. We only have the one plant. It's a bit unusual, but different to the common white flowered Sologenes. Such a pretty little thing. Very nice. Hopefully we can propagate this in the future when it gets a bit bigger. And then here's another plant that I don't know what it is. It's un unnamed, uh, no name on its label. So um, answers on a postcard, please, if anybody has any ideas. Beautiful pendant spikes of yellow flowers with this gorgeous kind of burgundy lip in the centre. Even if you can give me the genus, I can probably find the species, but I'm sure somebody out there will know what it is. Flowering well this year. Further on, we find a little forest of dendrobiums growing and amongst them are quite a number of these Brimurianum in flower. I have to say it's one of my favourite orchids, favourite dendrobiums, with its really highly fimbriated lip. Uh, it's just so beautiful, so unusual, and a true treat to find that in flower this spring. Such a lovely thing, love it. And then filling the house with scent. Wish we had smelly vision for you. Uh, are the beautiful Dendrobium, apologies, Dendrochylum, uh, Glumaceum. Uh, just coming to the end of their flowering now, but they've been in flower since January and so showy, so highly scented, beautiful and a great addition to any collection as it's quite easy to grow and easy to flower. And once these finish flowering, we'll be dividing them up and making stock because we are uh, out of stock of it at the moment and it's always popular. Lovely orchid, another favourite for the, for the winter time. Hope you've enjoyed some of our spring flowering orchids and we look forward to seeing you all again before too long, we hope. Thank you for watching. <laughs>